Hey guys, welcome back. So guys, we are continuing our Laravel Livewire CRUD application using Bootstrap model. Okay. So guys, now in this video, we'll be learning about how to fetch the data using Livewire in our Blade component file. Okay. So guys, now let's get started. So yep, let's move to our editor and let me close all the files. So first step, guys, we need to move to our Livewire that is model okay live our component and add the render function we see a file and which we have linked from the previous video so now guys let's continue so first step uh, we will move to our component component of so student so here we are going to create dollar this of your students is equal to your model student colon colon all function to get the data okay and we will pass that dollar students okay so this students will be created as a public public dollar student okay students perfect so now it will be sent to that students and then you are storing here and you will get the output in your blade file so now guys in the output let's create a table so here we table bordered and table striped so now guys let's add with table head and table row where table heading th with id name email and one course and one we required for actions Perfect. So now guys are uh, coming to the T body where we are going to use a for else to loop the data. So what data you are going to get is nothing but the students. So this is our data students. Not we have to send this students. Okay. Yep. Let's get back. And here student comes and your students student data. So now let's table row, align the table row, table data with, you're going to echo your dollar student of ID, copy and paste, coming to name, email, course, set. So now guys, you're going to add a table row. If there is no record, you're going to show no record found so you will be adding call span where column of 4 plus 1 5 5 done and now guys let's see the output so here you refresh perfect so we have got this but uh, the table design is missing let's see what happens Okay, it's not table, it's table body, T B O D Y body. Done. So make sure you are autocorrect. Now refresh. Perfect. We are missing with one T D, which is for edit and update. So let me add it that primary and in one is for delete danger so right now we'll keep it null refresh cool so looks fine guys and this is how we display a data so now let me add one more record like um alexa and alex at gmail.com where course is mca and let's save here you see student added successfully and it's automatically added here so now guys if you want to show up and down wise you can just use the order by let's instead of remove that all and tell order by id that will be descending order desc either capital or small and after this use a get function all done 
So yep, if you refresh, here you see from top to bottom. Cool. So now you can add one more record. Hey month. Copy and paste. So here we add the email and some course and save. So here you find that data added successfully. So now guys, uh, let us add the pagination in this. So yep, let's get back. And here instead of get, let's add paginate of, um, let us keep three, three pagination. Okay, so at once we cannot get. So what happens you if you add this directly paginate, it will give an error over here if you refresh. So before that, we need to use with paginate. Okay, so let's get back to our Laravel live wire and here you find the paginate pagination okay so you find this use live wire paginate let's paste here all done and then call this use this paginate perfect so once done now if you get back Here you refresh, you see your paginated data. Oops, it's showing live wire components, public show property student. Okay, so you cannot send this directly to your dollar this with the paginated. Okay, so what you have to do, you have to just remove this dollar this and just send the student data. At what? You have to create one variable inside that you are going to pass okay so that is nothing but your students so just create the students and dollar this of students just remove that we don't require any more so let's comment and keep for the reference okay so yep guys and now if you get back let's refresh so we have got the three records but its pagination is not shown so what we have to do we have to go to our and before this table after the table close i am going to create one div open and close curly brace get the dollar students so what students is this nothing but your looped data okay so your students of links function that's it so let's save and here you refresh and you get the pagination all done so let's go to next and here you find that too let's move on but this is not looking good guys so we need to use the bootstrap paginate let's go to the live wire and let's check out require okay bootstrap 3 Copy this and get back to your component model at the top. Let's add that. So now if you refresh, you find that pagination design. Cool. So, yep. So now guys, so we have successfully done with our pagination. And if you required a search option also, you can just check through this. Um, Pagination here at this resetting pagination after filters also you can use this search type same thing Okay to implement this search option. We will be seeing in next video about this uh, Laravel live wire search option. Okay, so guys in this video That's it. Thank you for watching this video. Please subscribe like and share